guys, welcome to Honor Loves Makeup. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing and doing a demo of the new Profusion Feel Good Skin Foundation. So if you guys wanna see what I think of this and how it wore, then just keep watching. I actually purchased this foundation at Walmart for $7. You can also get the foundation at profusioncosmetics.com. They also have it for $7 as well. Now I didn't see a whole line of shades at Walmart. I think there was only, I want to say there was only like maybe seven shades at the most, but online it does come in 12 shades. So I would actually go online if Walmart does not carry your shade. And if you look on the Profusion Cosmetics website, you'll see that they'll have the shades and a number next to the shade, and then they'll tell you what undertones that shade is. When I purchased this, I did not go on the website to look for my shade. I just kind of went and looked at the bottles to see what would actually be my shade. And I ended up getting two foundations. I got mine in the shade medium five and tan one. When I did swatch these at home, medium five is more of a medium yellow tone shade and then tan one is more neutral. It also tells you on the back of the foundation what undertones it is. So right here it says tan one neutral. So I got both of these because I figured I would use tan and see if tan actually worked for my skin tone. And if it didn't, I would mix a little bit of the medium five in it. And that's actually what I did today. And I really love the shade that I got with mixing both of these. Now I have worn tan by itself. I wore it um, the other day to actually do a wear test. And I really like the shade tan, but I felt like even though it looked really good, I felt like I needed a little bit more warmth to it. So I went ahead and applied the medium five today. So yeah, so I really like the shades that I got. I looked online and it doesn't look like they have a really good shade range. It goes from light and it has a lot of like medium shades and then it has like maybe three or four darker shades. So unfortunately, they don't have a lot of shades in this line. So that is a downfall of this foundation. There's not very many shades. There's actually online a total of 12 shades. So yeah, it doesn't come in an array of shades. So the claims of the foundation is that it's medium to full coverage. It has a natural satin finish, and it's also a long wearing foundation. It doesn't say on the website how long you can wear it. It just says that it's a long wear skin perfecting foundation. So yeah, so there's no like, eight hour wear or 24 hour wear to this foundation. It's just saying that it's long wearing. The website also says the foundation has hyaluronic acid in it to keep your skin hydrated and it also has an SPF 15 to keep your skin protected. Now an SPF 15 is really not a lot of protection for your skin from the sun. I feel like if anything, you need like a 30 plus. And I would also recommend that you put that 30 plus on before you put this foundation. Cause with this foundation alone, I don't feel like it would protect your skin from the sun. This foundation is also 100% cruelty free. Now that was pretty much everything that was said on the website. And it was like in one paragraph form. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the packaging itself. So this is the packaging. And of course, it's a thin squeezy tube, very thin. And there's actually one ounce of product in here, which is very common for a foundation. So that's pretty good. It looks like there wouldn't be that much, but there is. And then what you do is you twist off the cap and then here is the tip of the squeezy tube and that's where the foundation comes out. The foundation is like not liquidy at all. As you can see there, it has a pretty good consistency. It's not super thick or moussey. It's very, very creamy and feels very lightweight. So when applying this on my skin, I did go in with maybe a little bit bigger than a pea size of the tan one. And then I went in with a little bit of this in the tan and just mixed it up and I used that for my entire face. Now I did go in with a little bit more of the medium five by itself, just a tad bit more, just in these areas where I need a little bit more coverage. I just wanted to let you know that you can build this up and it's not gonna look cakey on you. And you're gonna see that a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this foundation. Like I said, I used maybe a pea size and then half a pea size of the medium five. And that was good enough for my entire face and then I went in with just a little bit more in those areas where I needed to today. Now I did try the foundation with a sponge and a brush and I will tell you that I like the brush better. I just felt like the brush gave it a little bit more coverage than the sponge 
And I don't know, I just like the finish of the brush. It just seemed like it melted into the skin a lot better with the brush than it did with a sponge. So it's really whatever your preference is. If you're always used to using a sponge and putting this on with a sponge, I think it'd be fine. But I like a full coverage foundation, so I wanted to go ahead and use the brush, which gave me better coverage. I built this up to a really good medium full coverage. I really did like the coverage of it. I did use my Tarte Shape Tape to cover up those imperfections, like my melasma, and I didn't have to use much of that. So it does have really good coverage. I think their claim of the natural satin finish is true because it just looks really beautiful and fresh and natural on the skin. I just really love the way it's sits on the skin. Now every time I used it, I have used primers. The first primer I used it with was the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This did a really good job of keeping everything in place and the foundation went on it beautifully. The other primer I used was the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It's a 12 hour makeup grip primer. This one also worked beautifully with the foundation. Today I'm trying out a new primer and it's working well with this primer. I'm not gonna tell you guys what the primer is just yet because I wanna make sure that this primer tests with this foundation really well, but so far I've had this foundation on with that primer for about five hours. So it's holding up really well and it looks really pretty and smooth. So that primer is going to be a good primer for this foundation as well. Another thing, everything that I put on my skin as far as blush, bronzer, highlighter, everything goes on it really well. This foundation feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel cakey on the skin. It doesn't crease up, it doesn't make me oily. And just to let you know guys, I do have combo skin. I have oily in my T-zone and then on the perimeters of my face, I'm normal. So I will say that this foundation works great with combo skin. I think it would also work with oily skin and with dry skin because it doesn't feel drying on the skin. And so I don't think that any skin type will have any problem with it. Now when I looked on the website, it doesn't say like for all skin types or for oily skin, it doesn't say any of that. Like I said, there was very minimal information on the website about this foundation. So basically, I'm just giving you my opinion of how I think this foundation would work for other skin types. And I honestly think it's for all skin types. I don't feel like this foundation is tightening up my skin or making my skin too oily. And because of that, I feel like it's gonna work for everybody. Okay, so for some final thoughts, as you can probably already guess, I did love this foundation. I think it's one of the best foundations at the drugstore right now. Um, and it's only $7, guys. It's so affordable and it's such good quality. It doesn't break up on my skin and I've actually worn it for 12 hours straight and nothing happened. I looked at my face at the end of the 12 hours and I could not believe how well my skin still looked and how well the products held up on my skin. So I really think that this is a foundation that is going to be something that I'm going to pick up constantly because it just makes my skin look like so fresh, you know, and healthy. And so I really do like it. But yeah, this is a great little foundation to add to your collection, especially if you're looking for a new foundation that's just gonna give you that soft focus finish. This is a good one to try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo, and I encourage you to stop by Walmart or go onto the Profusion Cosmetics website and try this foundation because I think it's a very good foundation, especially for the price. I just love the way it performed and I am going to continue to use it and I might even buy some backups. This is probably gonna be my favorite drugstore foundation from now on because I like it that much. I even like it more than I like my Wet n Wild, believe it or not. So yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.